Hi, this is Ross. And I'm Kara. And this is DIY on the house. Hi, we just wanted to share a little bit about ourselves and a little bit about our family and why we do these videos. Uh, one of the main reasons is Ross has been a licensed plumbing contractor. We've had our own business since 1998 and it's been countless times that he has come home really frustrated about people getting taken advantage of by other repair people. And on top of that, as a woman, I started realizing how many things I don't know how to do around the house. So we decided it's time to DIY it. Yep. And there's a lot of things I don't know how to do around the house either. <laughs> but um, laundry is yeah, one of them. laundry is one of them definitely, <laughs> and uh, possibly picking up stuff. Uh, but we were just uh, just super excited to do some uh, these videos, uh, make them simple, and just show you how easy it is actually to do a repair on a toilet, on uh, changing an outlet, uh, faucets, just everything um, around the house. Kara and I were married in 1993. Uh, well, we actually have kind of a fairy tale story. I was 12 and Ross was 14 and we were at the Iowa State Fair. And as the story goes, uh, this part is true, there were two young men gluing quarters to the floor in the cattle barn. Uh, my friend and Tim and I, uh, we, uh, he actually showed cows at the uh, Iowa State Fair. And uh, so for some to do, because it's pretty long, boring days, we uh, took super glue and glued quarters down to the uh, concrete floor. And that's where, that's where the truth ends. I did not stop and try to pick them up. No. I'm not that gullible. We but watched a lot of people that did that. It was. was awesome. It was really funny. <laughs> so we both are from Iowa, and uh, now we live in Arizona and um, are really fortunate to have three yep. grown kids. We moved to Prescott Valley, Arizona in 1997 and bought a 10-acre piece of property. And uh, we actually build it from the ground up. Uh, it's a beautiful place. But in fact, the house that we are sitting in is originally a 1981 oh. mobile. Uh, and But we laugh. Uh, it's basically we say that we water our house and it keeps <laughs> on growing. But without Ross's uh, vision and talent, um, I don't think any of this would have been possible. But we love our place. We really do. We also have a couple horses. And we do have a donkey named Earl um, that I uh, got from my my big golden birthday, you guys can guess what that one is, and I taught Earl how to drive a buggy. Our oldest son, Garrett, and his wife, Sabrina, are multi-talented, and uh, we'll be using quite a bit of information from them during these videos. Garrett is a machinist and fabricator, and uh, Sabrina uh, is an interior designer. Oh, she's so talented. Yeah. She's so talented. And our middle son, Ryan, um, is incredibly, incredibly talented, but unfortunately, he probably won't be on the camera much. He is a utility lineman, so he is up on the 60, 70, 80 foot. I have no idea how yeah. tall, but he's up on the poles, so we won't be... Uh, visiting him and then we have our baby Bailey. Uh, Bailey uh, is behind the camera. She is the brains um, and the talent behind the video editing. She will be graduating um, this uh, year with a degree in computer technologies and she was a college soccer player. So we just have a ton of talented children. Yep. It is truly an understatement when we say how important family is to us. Mm -hmm. We are incredibly fortunate. My parents live next door and, and have for over 20 some years um, on the, the 10 acres beside us. To list all of the talents of them would take an entire video. My mom had her own upholstery shop. She's a very accomplished quilter, crocheting, knitting, anything. That woman could learn anything. And then you have my dad. He's a leather craftsman. Uh, he builds saddles. I, rode, I ride a saddle uh, that he built me 10 years ago. My brothers each have saddles um, that he built. Just very talented. He's a very talented welder, fabricator. There's just nothing that that man can't do. And we're just really fortunate to have family that teaches us those mm -hmm. skills. I want to echo what Kara is saying. My parents, who have since passed away, uh, were farmers. I grew up on a dairy farm in Iowa, and uh, you had to learn skills to succeed being via plumbing, electrical, carpentry, uh, metalwork, whatever. Gardening. You, gardening, <laughs> yeah, huge. Uh, so uh, hopefully through these videos, we can pass that knowledge on to you, and I uh, hope it blesses you your life. Karen and I would like to thank you for watching this video and uh, through watching our other videos as well. And uh, I just ask you just 
give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Leave, subscribe, big time. Uh, leave comments uh, if it's been helpful to you. Um, we, and also leave comments of what other things you would like to learn. Oh, true. Yeah, that'd be great too. Uh, yeah, through our yeah. wheelhouse of people, we could um, we can hopefully find that information for you. Yep, that'd be great too as well. Uh, so we want to end with a few video clips of our family so that you can see um, a little bit uh, more about who's on the other side of the camera. So thanks so much for watching. Yep.